think you'll probably see what's become a big tradition of the holiday season here in Albuquerque. Yeah, 20 years ago, it came to life, and this week, crews placed the famous tumbleweed snowman along I-40. News 13's Sarah Yingling tells us about the fun holiday tradition. Lots behind it, Sarah. Adam, the tumbleweed snowman has become an increasingly elaborate tradition. Built with just one tumbleweed in 1995, crews now use eight tumbleweeds to build a snowman that many people now look forward to. I think it's like Christmas has finally begun. It's like iconic in Albuquerque for the state. It's like now it's time to celebrate this season. Throughout the year, the Albuquerque Metropolitan Arroyo Flight Control Authority collects the best tumbleweeds they can find out of their 20 miles of arroyos around the city. The bigger, the better. That's, we just look for the biggest tumbleweeds we could find. Welder James Moya has been a part of this tradition for 15 years, making the metal smile eyes, buttons, and nose. And the scarf? Moya's mother-in-law made it for the lovable snowman years ago. Both Moya and Amafka real estate manager Jeffrey Willis have been a part of this tradition for a while and remember when the snowman started out as a raggedy tumbleweed years ago. The crew went out and got some really bad looking tumbleweeds and painted them up and put them out on the uh, I-40 frontage and it, it started from there and every year they tried to make it a little bit better and uh, create a little bit better snowman. and. Obviously, if you look at it this year, it's almost 14 feet tall, and they've come a long way. You'll be able to see the tumbleweed snowman along I-40 until the first week of January. Back to you. Oh, thanks, Sarah. For pictures of the tumbleweed snowman, past and present, visit krqe.com. Did you see that cool?